Should I try to solve low-level system design problems without knowing about object-oriented programming? Let's see what the bot says. Okay, this is an interesting take. Let me start with the second paragraph, which is the most, let's say, controversial. Without a strong foundation in OOPs, you may struggle to understand and solve low-level system design problems. You could struggle to solve those problems, but what's even worse is that if there are obvious improvements that you can make to a solution and you don't do it because of lack of knowledge, it doesn't look nice. Simply put, if you have a design pattern, let's say a factory design pattern, and instead of using the factory design pattern, you are using the keyword of new everywhere and you're passing in a huge number of arguments to a constructor, that doesn't look good on you as an engineer. Okay, It's not that you didn't solve the problem. It's that you solved it in a really bad way and everyone around is going to be more pissed off that you solved this problem in a bad way than you having not solved it at all. It's that crazy because rewriting code is always more expensive than just writing code afresh. The other thing is it is generally recommended to have some oops concepts um, like encapsulation, inheritance, polymorphism. One thing that is missed out over here is design patterns. Another thing that could have been mentioned here is solid principles. However, the question says, without knowing, can I start with low level design problems? And here's the interesting thing. Yes, you can. And you probably should. Because without having real world examples, learning about OOP principles is going to be really difficult. Learning in parallel is probably the best way with a slight preference to learning OOP's concepts in the start. How would I rate this answer? I would probably rate this answer at a two. I would fail this answer because it doesn't talk about why. Why do you want to learn about oops beforehand? It talks about, you know, this is what is generally recommended. It's also like you're going to have difficulty solving problems. That's not really true. You can solve problems. Uh, it's just that you're going to suck at solving them or you're going to solve them in a really bad way. So if you're starting with low level design, uh, it's best to also look into object oriented principles.